He didn't say, now notice he said, so you have to stir up the gift of the Holy Ghost because that's how you're going to do what I put you there to do is by the Holy Spirit. He said, so you stir up that gift. And now watch what he says, because here, now notice that word stir up. The word stir up literally means, now this isn't the first time stir up. Okay, it literally, the, the Greek word there, it's number 329 in the concordance. And it's a Greek word that's anazopereo. And it literally means to rekindle a flame, to stir up a flame, you might say, or to fan into a flame. And notice, to fan into a flame. And it means literally to rekindle or to stir up or to have that, that flame burning again. And the idea here is that Timothy has the gift of the Holy Ghost. That fire that he had before has died down. Now, there, and literally, to use this word means that there was no flame, no visible flame present. All there was was embers. But yet you could still see the red embers, meaning there was heat, but there were no flames. So he said, Timothy, you stir up those kids. I know it's in you. I know he's still there, but you're going to have to stir him up by fanning into flame so that the Holy Spirit will become functional in you. Now, if you remember in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20, it said that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Well, the power, notice not just the power being in us, it's according to the power that works in us. So you can have the Holy Spirit in you, but yet he's not working in you. So you have to stir him up for him to work in you. And when you stir him up, then he can do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think. But as long as you let him die down. Well, I spoke in tongues. I remember when I got baptized in the Spirit. And I think that was back in, what was that? That was 1991, 92, I think it was. And so I know I got it. Uh, yeah, but he's died out. Those flames are gone. Stir it back up. That's why Paul said, I thank my God. I speak in tongues more than you all. What does speaking in tongues do? It helps stir up the flame. So you need to do it all the time, as much as you can, right? So he says to stir up that flame, stir up that gift of God, which is in you by the putting on of hands, of my hands. Then uh, notice the next thing. We've got to tie these, these two things together. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. So now notice, this is a contrast. He said, listen, he did not give you the spirit of fear. And that word fear, it's not fear like we normally think of it. It is literally the word for timidity. It's being timid. He said, God has not given you a timid spirit. Now, see, most people think they're being meek when in reality they're being timid. And God didn't give you timid. He gave you meekness, but meekness is power under control. In other words, you decide whenever you're going to release it, right? And so meekness is not just, you know, it's a, they used to say uh, being a, a, a rug for everybody to walk on. It's not, that's not the idea, right? Meekness is having a power but not using it necessarily for your own selfish means, but having that power held in reserve and that so that you can release it whenever you need to, right? But people think meekness, and in reality, they're just being timid. Well, I don't want to push my religion on anybody. That's timidity. You say, you, wait, you're saying we should push our religion on people? Uh-huh, sure am. Why? Because the other people in other religions don't mind pushing theirs on you. And the people that don't have religion don't mind pushing their no religion on you. So you're either going to push back or you're going to kneel down. That's what it is. So, and he said, now watch what he says. He says, God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but instead a spirit of what? Power and of love and of a sound mind. Power, love, and a sound mind. Now, this, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to look at some of these actually. I'll bring them out a little bit more here in a minute. But the word power there is the Greek word dunamis. Now, the word dunamis is what, G notice it says, Jesus said, but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So now, notice this. What is Paul telling Timothy? Uh, you've not been given a spirit of timidity, but you've got to stir up that gift of power that's in you. Why? Because you've got that gift of power when you receive the Holy Ghost that I put in you by the laying on of my hands. So I know what's in you. So you have the spirit of power. You have the spirit of dunamis. 
that dunamis is miraculous ability. You have the ability to do whatever needs to be done. If that includes working miracles, you've got the power to do it. Most people never step over into that area. 